Hello. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about vowels. And when we talk about vowels, we're going to be talking about the position of the body of the tongue. Imagine this is the, the tongue. Okay? And here is the roof of the mouth. Um, a vowel is made when the, the sound is not obstructed by the tongue. So if I do that and put my tongue against the roof of the mouth, I obstruct the air. And what will happen is I'll produce what we call consonants. We'll talk about those. We talk about vowels in terms of close. This is when the body of the tongue moves up towards the roof of the mouth and open. Open when the body of the tongue is lower. So close vowels, open vowels. There's another dimension we talk about in relation to vowels that is front and back. And what we're talking about is where the top of the body of the tongue is in relation to the space inside the mouth. If the body of the tongue is more towards the back of the, the mouth, we call those back vowels. And you can guess that if the body of the tongue is more towards the front of the mouth, we're going to be talking about front vowels. So we have close, open, back, front. Here is a picture of the vowel chart for the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet. Here we have close, open, front, back. So we have front close vowels, back close vowels, front open vowels, back open vowels, and there you can see symbols for all the others, but we will just be demonstrating these front ones and the back ones for the moment, because all of the others are the tongue placing itself in uh, intermediate positions between those those four extremes. Okay? As well as front, back, close and open vowels, we also have what we call lateral vowels and rounded vowels. Now, close, open, front and back were in relation to the position of the tongue. Lateral and rounded are in relation to the shape of the lips. So lateral, rounded. So e you can guess is a lateral vowel. Now if I keep the the, the tongue in exactly the same position and simply round the lips e I get the rounded equivalent it's as simple as that so any vowel simply by changing the lips you go between one vowel and the other and as you can imagine as you move your lips, you produce an infinite number of different sounds. But of course, we simplify this lateral rounded. Otherwise, it would be totally impossible. We'd have a chart with an infinite number of vowels and an infinite number of symbols.